Now, HSTDV. This is a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. And since it is hypersonic, it is beyond the speed of sound. Now, this works on a scramjet technology, not a ramjet. Ramjet technology does not have oscillating uh, rotating oscillators we could say and scramjet technology has much higher speed so under ramjet when we talk about the speed is just match three that is three times however under scramjet which is the technology under the hstdv you have a speed of math 6 which is six times the speed of sound so it becomes very very important and since it's at a, such a huge and a, such a fast speed we could say detection by the radars and interception by the radars becomes a difficult task so this is unmanned definitely and it is a very very important uh, carrier vehicle for long range cruise missiles it's not a weapon in itself it can be used for numerous civilian applications and including the launch of small satellites which could be uh, cost effective why because it uses air breathing technology system now air breathing technology system says that it has a capability to use atmospheric oxygen now since it's using atmospheric oxygen up to a height of 50 kilometers it does not need so much fuel to be taken along with it and therefore it gets cost effective it gets lighter and it gets efficient so those are the benefits because it has the air breathing technology now this has been developed by drdo the defense research and development organization in india and has futuristic plans for long range missile technology cruise technology that has been there you have solid uh, rocket motors that are mounted and these carry to a certain altitude now at a certain altitude it gains momentum it attains the match number with a certain speed and it ignites automatically automatically and in that process it uses oxygen for propulsion and therefore becomes again important now what have been the key highlights it can as we said attain a speed of math 6 some of the only nations which have these technologies for hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicles so far is us russia and china india has joined the space recently and therefore becomes very very important other nations who are working for it are japan Australia and Europe but still it's a development process for these three regions so that is another important thing now as we said you have the speed six times the speed of sound that means it can reach an altitude of nearly 32 kilometers in just 20 seconds and as a result of such a fast speed interception by the radars is also very very difficult because radars cannot actually detect it so quickly and therefore this is a, a path breaking technology system now whenever we talk about propulsion systems we have subsonic transonic supersonic hypersonic and high hypersonic now these are the mash numbers since it has a mash number of six it falls in the category of supersonic ramjet has a mash number of three and falls in uh, this falls in the category of sorry hypersonic since it has a mash number of six those in, with a mash number of three like ramjet engines fall under supersonic technologies now ramjet as we said are supersonic they do not have uh, rotating oscillators that are there scramjet are hypersonic and they also allow supersonic uh, combustions that is there you also have the dual mode ramjet now what is a dual mode ramjet dual mode ramjet basically is a unique kind of ramjet which can switch its match speed from 4 to 8 that means it can switch from supersonic to hypersonic and it's able to penetrate into both the categories the supersonic as well as the hypersonic and therefore it is known as the dual mode ramjet and that's the name dual mode it can shift to both the modes supersonic as well as hypersonic now the respective velocities have been again given and one of the major benefits of this technology is it is able to penetrate most of the defense uh, the air defense missile systems because 
of the very high speed that is there and inability of the radar to intercept it at right time because of its speed so those are some of the propulsion systems and the basics that you need to know regarding those we would be covering many such interesting lectures on current affairs and definitely defense which has become one of the major focuses so you have to be very very clear about the focuses of government when you uh, talk about examinations like upsc prelims where you have most of the questions coming from the major focus so this time defense agriculture economy are the key focus so terms and concepts related to those become very very important definitely we are there for you and we'll be bringing in many more interesting stuff have a wonderful day ahead